We're Scotland's Wild. We've led thousands of tours all over this beautiful country. And in this video, I'm going to share with you our list of the top 10 places you have to visit while you're in Scotland. So if you're planning on visiting Scotland or you just want to see the most beautiful places you can come and visit, you're in the right place. Stick around to the end of the video where I'll be leaving you some sample itineraries. Scotland really is incredible. Let me show you why. Let's start with one of the most beautiful and accessible locations in Scotland, Loch Lomond. Just a short drive from Glasgow, this famous loch forms part of the Trossachs National Park. It crosses the Highland Boundary Fault Line, meaning from certain vantage points, you can see both the Highlands and the Lowlands. And it's pretty easy to tell which is which. While you're here, you should visit the village of Luss on the loch side, where you can enjoy the beach, see sights of the islands off the pier, and even visit a Viking grave. If you are into hiking, the West Highland Way, Scotland's most famous walking trail, passes right by the loch. But if you're not willing to spend a week hiking the 96 mile route, you can climb Connacht Hill, a part of the trail where you'll get incredible views of the loch and countryside. It can be climbed in a few hours and is well worth it. There's lots to do and see on the Bonnie Bonnie banks of Loch Lomond you won't be disappointed by adding it as a stop to your Scotland trip. Next on the list is the dramatic and wild Glencoe. This place is straight out of a fantasy film with its towering mountains and sweeping valleys. The drive through the valley is my absolute favorite. It's so beautiful, drivers really have to be careful to keep their eyes on the road. There's another brilliant hike here into what's called the Hidden Valley. It's where cattle rustlers would have hidden their neighbors' cows after stealing them to make sure they were never found. Starting from the Three Sisters viewpoint, the hike takes around three to four hours round trip, up past waterfalls and into a vast glen where you'll have the sisters all around you. Glencoe is also home to a recreated 1700s turf house. Head to the Glencoe Visitor Center to see what life would have been like for Highlanders living in the valley 300 years ago. Even on colder days, the turf house is surprisingly cozy and the visitor center is an ideal spot to stop for lunch and marvel at the surrounding beauty. <laughs> Harry Potter fans, this one is for you. The Glenfinnan Viaduct is that iconic bridge the Hogwarts Express crosses in the movies. Even if you're not a Potterhead, the viaduct is stunning in its own right. You can even ride on the steam train at the right time of year and experience the Highlands in style. Aside from the viaduct, you've got another of the most beautiful views in Scotland looking out over Loch Shiel, where you'll also find the Glenfinnan Monument erected to commemorate the 1745 Jacobite Uprising, an important piece of Scottish history that I'm sure you'll learn all about when you come to visit. Glenfinnan isn't far from Glencoe, and so we recommend heading here after passing through Glencoe. They're both part of our three-day Isle of Skye tour as we head towards the island. Link in the description for those that are interested in the full itinerary. It's time for a castle, and not just any castle. You simply cannot visit Scotland without seeing at least one, and Elendonan Castle is a stunner. You may have already seen it on your desktop screensaver, as it's one of the most photographed castles in all of Scotland. Perched on its own little island where three lochs meet, it's easily one of the most photogenic castles. You might recognize it from movies like Highlander or The World Is Not Enough. It's an absolute must-see and a great stop if you're on your way or coming back from the Isle of Skye, but more on that next. There's a long, complicated history involved with this castle. It's passed many clan hands many times 
and even was once destroyed by government forces in 1719. So it's really worth heading across the bridge and into the castle to learn more about its past. Let's head to Scotland's most beautiful island next, the Isle of Skye. There are so many fantastic places to stop around this island, but we're limited in our list, so we've had to narrow it down. Our next location is the Old Man of Store. This place looks like something from another planet. It's jagged rock formations towering over the landscape. It's about an hour hike to reach the top and to get the expansive view of the sea and dynamic countryside of the island. There really is a mystical vibe to this place. Maybe it's the fog that rolls in and out, or the legend that the rocks are the remains of a giant who died there. Either way, standing beneath these massive pillars of stone is a surreal experience and makes you feel pretty tiny. You'll probably find yourself stopping every few minutes just to take it in, which is a good thing as the path leading up to the store is well paved but really steep. While we're on the Isle of Skye, you have to check out Dunvegan Castle. This is the oldest continuously inhabited castle in Scotland, and it's been home to the chiefs of Clan MacLeod for over 800 years. Dunvegan sits right on the edge of a loch, so the views are stunning. Inside you'll find everything from ancient artifacts, clan history that's been passed down through generations, and even a fairy relic. Yes, that's right, there's a genuine fairy flag kept in glass inside the castle. The power of the flag is said to be able to turn the tides of battle and has even been used to cure a cattle plague, allegedly. But the real magic happens outside, in the castle gardens. Lush, colorful, and full of little hidden paths, it's the kind of place you can easily spend a whole afternoon exploring. Next, we're jumping way back in time to Scarab Bray, a prehistoric village on Orkney, the second most northerly island off Scotland. This place is older than the pyramids. Yeah, you heard that right. Scarab Bray is around 5,000 years old, and it's one of the best preserved Neolithic sites in Europe. Walking through these ancient stone homes feels like stepping into the distant past. The village was uncovered by a storm in 1850, and since then, it's given us a glimpse into what life was like in Scotland all those years ago. It's so well preserved, you can really see what the day-to-day -day life would have been like for the inhabitants. Orkney itself is definitely the place to explore ancient history in Scotland. Aside from Scarabray, you can discover numerous burial cairns that you can actually enter into, and standing stones that you can walk beneath. If you're looking for something off the beaten track, Orkney really is somewhere you should consider. It's much lesser known than the Isle of Skye, and so you'll be up against less tourists while you're there. If you need a break from castles and cliffs, the Hermitage in Dunkeld is a perfect escape into nature. This wooden walk takes you through towering Douglas fir trees, some of the tallest in the UK, and leads you to the stunning Black Lynn Falls. This is my favorite forest walk in all of Scotland. It's so serene, the smell of pine and wood is everywhere, and the views of the waterfall and old bridge are spectacular. It's one of those spots where you can really lose track of time and reconnect with nature. Don't forget to stop by Ossian's Hall where you'll have a perfect view of the waterfall and Ossian's Cave, where you can try out the hermit life. It's a stop on a few of our tours and our guides continually say it's one of the best places that they visit. So make sure you check it out. On the Isle of Lewis, you'll find the Callanish Standing Stones, one of Scotland's most mystical sites. These massive stone circles have stood for over 5,000 years and their exact purpose is still a bit of a mystery. Some say they were used for rituals. Others think they align with the stars. 
Whatever the reason, the Kalanish Standing Stones have an otherworldly presence. Standing among them, you can't help but wonder about the people who placed them here at great expense. They're not the only place to see in the Outer Hebrides though, so if you're planning to take the trip over, make sure you also visit Giranen Black House Village and Dun Carloway Broch. Also, Loskintar Beach is probably the most beautiful beach in Scotland. We have a tour that takes you up through the highlands of Scotland and onto the islands of Lewis and Harris for a five day trip. You can see the full itinerary in the link that I'll leave in the description. Last but not least, we've got Sinclair Castle, found at the end of the world. Well, or at least the end of Scotland, on the rugged cliffs of Caithness. This castle is in ruins now, but it still has that wild, untamed beauty that makes it worth the trek. The first time I visited this ruin, I walked along the cliffside in foggy weather, listening to the waves crash beside me, as suddenly this massive shape appeared off in the distance through the fog. The setting is just unreal. Imagine standing on a cliff with the North Sea crashing below and the wind whipping around you as this jagged ruined structure towers above you. You can even go in and explore the ruins, look out at the sea from the broken ramparts and wonder what it would have looked like back in the day. A list like this wouldn't be complete without a good ruin to visit. If ruins are more your thing, consider also checking out these. That's our top 10 locations to visit in Scotland, but there are so many more places to visit. Here's another list of some honorable mentions that we couldn't fit into the video. Scotland is much more vast than you might think, and it's so dense with incredible places to visit. You could spend weeks, if not months, exploring. But we realize that not everyone has that time so we've condensed some of our favorite locations into this list. If you're looking for an expert tour guide and a set itinerary where you can sit back and be taken on an unforgettable journey, consider taking a tour with us at Scotland's Wild. You can even grab our free Itineraries of Scotland booklet from the link below. I'll also leave links in the description to some of our best tours that include many of the locations mentioned in this video. Thank you so much for watching and good luck planning your next epic adventure to Scotland.